Yo, what's poppin'? Back on Showdown today with a truly devastating Clefable set. Nothing about this set is standard. Now, before I show you all this set, I'd like for you to leave a comment and tell me a specific Pokemon that is designed to beat one of its main counters. I'd like to know. Or if you don't know, just comment to support, which is always appreciated. It means a lot. So I ask this because this Clefable set is designed to beat counters like Melmetal, Toxapex, Galarian Slowking, Heatran, and more. What set can cover all of that, you ask? Check this out. We got Belly Drum Clefable. <laughs> Belly Drum Clefable. Nice Life Orb, Magic Guard. So we don't take damage from Life Orb due to its ability. And it also is going to be powering up the moves that it has with max attack, Adamant Nature at plus six. After Belly Drum, we hit over a thousand attack. And Drain Punch is able to Oko steel types like, you know, for instance, Melmetal, which is a huge threat to this, this Pokemon here. It can Oko, Melmetal, Ferrothorn, Heatran, etc. Thunder Punch Oko's Toxapex, max defense Toxapex, it Oko's that. And it also has a great chance of Okoing Galarian Slowking. Then of course we have Player Up for that main fairy type attack versus pretty much every Pokemon. And I am running max speed just because we are actually able to outrun certain mods. Like I guess some defensive landers like to run slower like for U-turns and stuff. At plus six, we can no code that. And I've also been able to outrun certain Tapu Finis, some Volcanions as well, with, and just knock them out. And the speed is really useful because it outruns so many other things. Nobody expects this kind of cool fable. And you can heal yourself with Belly Drum, so you don't have to run like a Citrus Berry or something to heal after a Belly Drum, like many classic ones do. You have uh, Drain Punch for that. And because this thing is really frail without bulk, Clefable is actually kind of frail, like if, especially if you don't invest in max... HP and whatever. So I'm running Aurora Veil with the team. As you can see, we have here the screens where we can set that up and make Clefable even bulkier. And Grudge, my friend told me to run Grudge a little in Ninetales because actually, let's say you're up against a Mel Metal, for example, you can Aurora Veil to switch in. You can Grudge as well against anything that knocks you out and reduce the, the times they can use that move to zero. And that's really cool as well. I never really thought about Grudge a little in Nine Tails, but it could be really great. We have Lando T, sub SD with a defense to be able to not get our sub broken by uh, Knock Off Ferrothorn from a non-intimidated non one. Then the Scope Lens Kartana. This actually destroys Buzzwell if we crit, and it's a really high chance to crit with Scope Lens plus Psycho Cut. Really nice... Uh, crit uh, chance there, especially because Leaf Blade and Psycho Cut both, ha both have that like crit chance. Sacred Sword for the Steel types like Magnezone for example. And it's a speed boosting variant, that's why we're running Timid with um, speed that is, oh not speed, but um, wait a sec, this actually reset. This should be, I don't know why it reset, maybe because I refreshed or something. Anyways, it's uh, going to be able to get beast boosts in speed because its uh, attack is just one point lower. Chansey, so it's actually a Chansey offense team with uh, Veil. <laughs> so I'm running Chansey. Actually, there's no rocks in this team. Counter is actually kind of better because you can destroy certain attackers and open up the, the field for you to win. Finally, Choice Scarf for Shifu, which is great, especially when Toxpex is removed by Belly Drum Clefable and helps the team out quite a bit versus Weavile. And that's the squad. So on to the first game where we hopefully get some kind of a Clefable um, putting in the work. But if not, I have uh, replays of catching people by surprise, as well as thumbnail text. I have a lot of them, actually. But anyway, like, I wanted to, um, if I if I got, like, one of those games in, in, in a recording, then, you know, it'd be, like, just beautiful. But I didn't, unfortunately. It was just about testing. So I have replays to show you. I would have just made an entire video on a replay if I could. Um, okay, so let's just lead Ninetales here. Actually, if... I don't know what this Lycanroc set is. I haven't seen Lycanroc in a minute. Actually, I want to lead our Shifu. In case they lead with uh, Lycanroc or something, so they lead Swampert, we get to U turn out. Just a clean little U turn. He has Rocky Helmet, so we're going to go here into Ninetales. And the cool thing is that Clefable beats Corviknight too with uh, Belly Drum Thunder Punch. <laughs> and it's faster. Let's get the Aurora Veil up here. He might try to switch out. Possibly. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be Finny, probably expecting the Hypnosis. I'm going to um, 
I'm gonna freeze dry here. I could freeze dry. I could also go. Kartana is actually a really good win con. I'm actually gonna go hard Kartana. Up he goes Volk. Pretty good for you. Gonna go hard or Shifu. As he fiery dances. And then I'm going to go Chansey, not Chansey. I'm going to go Urshifu. Not Urshifu, what am I saying? Clefable <laughs> uh, from Urshifu. Let's belly jump here. And so he might defog. Let's see what happens though. He turns out okay, but we have our screen up still. So potentially we can live something. Maybe, we'll see. So we got the belly drum off, right? So Swampert's in. We could Oko this with play rough, but I want to drain punch to get my health back. Oh, that's okay. Choice banded. Choice banded. Which means that uh We go Lander since Swords dance up immediately. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this Pokemon can just annihilate his team. Let's sub here, avoid the Toxic, and SD up again. And now we are in a absolutely fantastic position. We should be able to outrun Finny. Swampert easily gets outrun as well. So this looks pretty good. And so the only thing faster is Lycanroc and Volcarona. So he's Finny. Yep, let's Earthquake here. And a plus three Earthquake should... Ooh, it's like live that 1%. <laughs> That's crazy. So I just Earthquake again and knock this out. So we're back at 99. And so Volcarona is in. We definitely attack this. He may or may not be faster. He's faster. Okay, nice. And so he's already lost Finny and Volcarona to Landers. Lycanroc is in. Okay, cool. So he would Stone Edge. Do I still need this thing? Probably not. And that missed anyway, so unfortunate. But Kartana actually Swords Dance and win. And wins in the end because uh, we just get Veil up, Swords Dance with Kartana. He can't break that. He lost uh, Volcarona. So... Excellent. Not the belly drum clefable we wanted there. If it wasn't Bandit Swampert, we would have just healed it all the way up. But, you know, trial and error, trial and error. This team is actually, like, I've been testing this clefable a lot, and there have been so many, probably like 15 to 20 different variations of this team. It's, um, and I beat this guy while testing as well. But there's been so many different variations of this team, and I think, like, this one is still pretty good, but against, like, Halucha. It's just not the best, but I have beaten Halucha. Like, I just have to outplay. There's just some things that are a lot more difficult, but the point is to show off this Clefable, which hopefully we can do. Now, I'm going to lead Ninetales. And so, actually, this is, um, this is uh, Zoroark. This Pokemon here is Zoroark. I'm faster, though, so I'm going to get my Veil up as he Sludge Bomb poisons. And then I am going to go Chansey. Double out here is my play. And I think I double into Clef. I'm gonna double into Clef here. Yep, as Malamar comes in. And then we're gonna Belly Drum. <laughs> we are going to Belly Drum. And see what happens. So I expect Slowking, the actual one, to come in, but it doesn't. So Zapdos is in. Do I live? Uh, let's find out. I'm going to Thunder Punch here. Yeah, I do. Nice. So let's Thunder Punch, knock it out. And so this is the Zoroark. Sludge Bomb probably takes care of this thing, but I don't think it matters too much. I want to Drain Punch. Oh, yo, we lived! Yo, we lived! Let's go! That's, see, that's why we have Veil. Vale. This is exactly why we have Veil. Vale. Oh, this is beautiful! Yo, okay, okay, cool. Very cool. The actual Sloking is here, and the actual Sloking, it lived on 96. Trick Room's up, and then 
we are just going to save you, Clefable, because I know that this is a stab sludge bomb, so um I'm going Chansey. Or sludge wave. Okay, so that's gonna be that was gonna be stronger, probably knock out Clef. Let's size McToss here. So then Malamar's in. We go into probably Oh, you know what we do? This is the probably the easiest way to get rid of this thing is just to do this. Because that does nothing, and then this does something. <laughs> Excellent. So now this thing this thing is in. We just uh toxic this. Soft boss. So this is I think a stored power set, if I'm not mistaken. We just hide make toss to weaken. And then soft boil here. Side make toss here. And then last two are probably gonna die to this chancy. Yep, slow king's in. Soft boiled up. So this is a 6-0 here, and actually got to see the Clefable put in the finest of work. Absolute finest. So a toxic, yep. And this thing is basically dead too. Good stuff though, good stuff. Yep, last is this uh, slow king. I'm actually just going to go Landers and finish it off real quick. Good game. So the Belly Drum Clef putting in the finest of work. You'd love to see it. Not really any iconic Pokemon just yet, like Melmetal and uh, and stuff, but... I'm sure in this video we will probably get something like that. Oh, here! Look at this now. We have a nice stall team, but I don't know where Quag is going to be an issue. So I'm thinking Kartana is going to be putting in a lot of work here once we... Well, actually, I don't even know. <laughs> this is uh, quite the team, I must say. So... I'm guessing what I do... is probably lead... Probably lead with uh, Ninetales. And just freeze dry here. As he does have Iron Head. So that little chip could come a long way, maybe. Gonna SD up. So that's good. Let's U turn out here. Yep, as Dragonite comes in. Nice, nice. Into Clef we go. I can't belly drum. Going Kartana, and I'm clicking Swords Dance here. Let's Psycho Cut, see how much it does. And we got the crit too, which is nice. Dragon Tails me into this Mon. Let's go ahead and just uh, play rough here. Oh, we got 37 on it, not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, let's go Clef! Yo, let's go. Not bad. Not even had to belly drum and it just destroyed a blissey. <laughs> That's fire. And we got Dragonite week two, so that actually is really good. I'm going to Thunder Punch here. I'm gonna keep clicking Thunder Punch, I think. Actually, I could switch out. Or maybe I don't need to. Well, I'm going to keep this thing around. I think it's quite useful. Uh, I'm going to go... So he has Whirlwind, right? Probably just Mono Iron Head. Let's just... Uh, Sacred Sword here. Alright, cool. Let's Swords Dance up. And Stone Edge. And then Sacred Sword did enough here. So we could actually go for it right now. And this is also in range of... Uh, Clefable. So mana buzz is in, we just go into Clef. As he foul plays, there's a lot. So I think I just play off here. Pharaoh Thorn is in. This Pokemon is annoying. Um Drain Punch. He knocks off my life orb, which could be annoying as well. Yo, does this thing actually like I don't even know if we're gonna be able to beat stall, but we can sure try. Okay, so this thing is dead now. That's good. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Skarmory. No more whirlwinding around. But he does have Dragon Tail, though.
This is actually fantastic. So Amanda buzzes in, let's play rough this. 42, oh, that's in range now, beautiful. And so this got a, got a crit on that, it's okay. Um, let's go Chansey. Infestation, is he, oh yeah, probably. Okay, I'm just gonna toxic this thing. If I can, yeah, if I toxic this, then, oh, okay, now we're in a great position. He can knock out Chansey if he wants because I just needed to poison this Pokemon. Unless he's got like Heal Bell on this thing, which he probably has Heal Bell. But I think I just uh, go Shifu. And then Ice Punch here. And gone. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, nice. Excellent. So now we just go here into... Uh, I want to say... We could do Chansey... No, not Chansey. We could go Clef. Yeah, because he can't, he can't Leech Seed us, right? And then just Drain Punch here. Because at this point in time, Clef just wins. Clef, li Clef literally just beats Stall. <laughs> we, we just beat Stall with this Pokemon. Ah. Because if he only has Knock Off and Body Press, we could just get our health back. And he can't heal himself. So let's Drain Punch up. And Iron Barbs won't be hurting us either. Yep, Body Press. We're still doing a decent amount. GG. Good game. The Destruction of Stall with a non-belly drummed Clefable, which was physical attack. Physical attack and Clefable, it just destroyed Stall. <laughs> ah, you absolutely love to see it. Not bad. On to the next one. All right, so have here a, what is it, like a Mew lead, I guess. So I guess we just lead Ninetales then. He just immediately leads with this. And so, I, I actually, maybe this is not a Mew lead. Maybe this is just a Drill lead. So I'm going to Veil up. And then Encore it into these rocks. Nice. And then here what we can do is, because I, I believe Volcaron is coming in, is we go Urshifu. Cortana comes in. He's Scarf, but I think we can live this, yeah. So getting rid of the Scarfer is really good, in my opinion. Because now nothing can revenge Kartana, other than, I guess, full Corona, but... This was worth it. This was definitely worth it. Yeah, the Veil is great. So can we... So, like, okay, another problem versus a Fur Clefable is, um... Urshifu Rapid Strike, because it could just Surging Strikes through screens. Which is always annoying. Uh, this Mew, I'm not sure what it's going to do. So I'm going to probably go Clef. So he just energy balls and Spit F drops me, which is alright. I'm going to double out here into... Chansey? Okay, so he's just that. Let's say I go for a Toxic here. Because I can always switch out after. And now I'm going to go Ninetales so I can get a fresh set of Veil. I think is what I do. So we will switch it on rocks, but that's okay. Ice Beam. Now, let's get the Veil up again. And so here, what we do is we switch out into something we don't need. Or something else. Actually, let's... Uh, I don't know if this has Iron Head or not. Could be dangerous. Wait, Chansey. And just doing it the patient way. So drill is in now, okay. I'm going to counter. Now I'm going landers here. Actually, Kartana is really good. I'm going cart. He rapid spins, but I'm going to SD up. I'm going to SD up again. And now I'm going to get my speed boost by clicking Leaf Blade. No, Sacred Sword. Because Psycho Cut is actually a non-contact move. So now that we got the speed boost here, I think we're looking pretty good. 
Unless something got Aqua Jet or something. So yeah, Garchomp, he's gonna try to get the... See, if I go for the Leaf Blade, he gets the... Rough Skin and then Aqua Jet. But if he Aqua Jets... We go Clef, right? And then do some fun stuff? Or maybe not. I think okay, we have to Leaf Blade. I don't think a Psycho Cut knocks it out unless I crit. And... That might be dangerous. And this Garchomp is a threat. Leaf Blade, knock it out. It depends. Maybe maybe Cartana lives a thing. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay, so it does not live that. All we do now is we go into Clefable. And just play rough here. He's going to sack Mew anyways. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> you can have that, I guess. And then he's going to Surging Strikes here. We just click Play Rough again. Nine Tails Veil is the play. So the Veil is helpful because I know it's... We have to click Counter here. And so he actually lived that for... Oh, because it only takes probably one of them into account. But that's fine. Because uh, we have a Scarfer, a Scarfmon here. So yep, and now all we do is go Urshifu, Surging Strikes, and then win versus Volcarona because we are Choice Scarf. Good game. Yep. Awesome. Good stuff. So won that one. Not the way I wanted to, but still is uh, the best we could get, I guess. Had to cut out real quick. Got a phone call. But anyways, let's continue on. Uh, so this game here, as we see, it has a bunch of Pokemon, standard Pokemon. And I've, I, of course, must lead with my Ninetales to get my Veil up. And my win cons here. My win con is Kartana, and it's... It's, uh, maybe Landris, maybe. Well, not really. I think it's, I think Kartana is really the win con because after a Swords Dance, look at his team. It's, everything's gone. <laughs> everything's basically gone. And we outrun his other Kartana as well. So Veil is extremely important. Let's get that up here. All right, Veil's up. And then what we do here is, I think Harder Shifu's the play. He'll get rocks up, but that's fine. We just um, U-turn, I think, is our play. And there's no way that he should lose Heat Trend if I have a, any kind of standard clef. Yep, exactly. Let's go into Kartana. So I do see an item here. That's good to know. Gonna Leaf Blade. And so Leaf Blade is good because he can pop the Balloon. Potentially, if he goes Landris, that's fine too, because we can immediately Swords Dance right after that. So he's really thinking about these turns. Yep. Goodbye. So this is like the scope lens coming into play. It really helps a lot versus certain mods. I'm going to actually Sacred Sword here. So he's Chopple. I've been seeing a lot more Chopple Berry ones lately. But we have a speed boost now, which is great. Doing a lot of damage here. His does not even knock me out either. Beautiful. Let's just... Uh, Leaf Blade, I guess, is our play. Not sure if he has any kind of helmet user, but... This looks good, especially if we get crits, we can go through Intimidates. Could be nice. Okay, cool. So, now we're at... <laughs> it looks like plus two attack, but it's plus two speed. Landorus is in. Uh, I can't switch in... Well, I can... Uh, can I switch into rocks? Probably maybe once more. 
Do I need to save this though? Probably not. I just want damage on this thing. Any kind of damage is good damage. And then what we do here is we get a fresh round of Veil. Good old Veil. Actually, I'm, I'm probably just going to freeze dry first. And then Veil here. Because I, what I want to do is I want to try to utilize Grudge. So if I can do that, that'd be great. Um, let's think. Okay, so... Stealth Rocks, Magma Storm, probably he might have Taunt. Probably. I'm gonna Encore. Okay, well he goes Lele. So I'll Freeze Dry here, get more Chip. Ooh, Scarf Future Sight. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, so then I just gotta go Chansey. Chansey. And I click counter here. So he's starting strikes, but this counter won't do much, right? How much will it do? Let's see. Yeah, decent amount. Very decent amount. So that's a scarf set, which means that my scarf or Shifu should be faster. Good information. Okay, so we go into our own Urshifu here, and let's just click Surging Strikes, which should knock it out from this range. I'm excited to destroy what comes out, and it's going to be Heat Shrine we destroy, so that's amazing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Not the burn. So if Clefable can live one hit from Tapu Lele, that would be great because I'm pretty sure our Life Orb Play Rough will in fact take it out. It's just gonna be a little tougher than I thought. So this Urshifu should be banded, this Landris is left over, so I think Ninetales is important to keep. And then versus Scarf Lele, I would have loved to have my Urshifu not burned, but that was Flame Body. So that's okay. Okay, Tapu Lele is in. I think we just damage this, right? What just damage what's in front of us? Because he doesn't know what we are. He, we know he's uh, scarfed. So let's just get as much chip on this thing as we can. So he'll psychic. Okay, cool. Now he's scarfed. Okay, so we go. Could go. Uh, could go Landers. I think Landers does. Live one. He shouldn't be able to Oko me. Let's do this, right? Let's let's just earthquake here. He could be modest scarf as well. I'm gonna sub. He'll U-turn out. Although he'll go into this thing and do all kinds of stuff. That was not good. Um, although if we do get the hail up, I can freeze dry here. Because I think I've, oh, he sacks this thing. Okay, but actually we can veil now. We can actually veil now here, right? So it didn't knock him out, which is great. It just got enough damage on it, which means that Clef actually knocks it out from the range it's at. Lele could also get knocked out as well. Okay, so we live this, which is great. Let's just uh, freeze dry here. So he's going to try to stall my Veil out, but not sure if that'll work. Yeah, we'll knock this out. Next Lele comes in. So our play now is to... We have to freeze dry here. Or we grudge, I guess. Yeah, so that's fine. Clef 
do the work that you were meant to do. I'm gonna thunder punch here. <laughs> he could have just attacked. He could have just attacked. I don't know what he was thinking. I should have lost. I should have lost this game. What, you, what was this guy thinking? <laughs> now I win. <laughs> Good game. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent game. I didn't understand though. He could have just uh, damaged. I shot a PM. Didn't work. Uh, maybe he was trying to explain what went down. But I was like. I was wondering, if he sees this video, you can explain this one. But I assume maybe he thought I was going to Cosmic Power or something. Because if I have Cosmic Powered enough, then I would probably have a stronger Stored Power. So I guess I guess by going her Shifu, then I, I, mean, I would still be able to knock it out at plus one. But then he, if he gets the damage, I guess that would pre prevent me from setting up over Lele. Because her Shifu can crit through boosts. And then Lele can't do that, so I would have been able to set up over Lele. So that's probably why he went um, Urshifu first. But then, of course, that's just him thinking about a set that, I not, that I'm not. So it's like, yeah, he could have won by simply doing that. However, who expects max speed, max attack, belly jump, clef? I guess. Um, and I guess probably on Veil, I guess maybe um, Cosmic Power is more, more uh, common on those? I don't know. I've never run a Veil Clefable team other than, uh, until this one, until this one, of course. Yes, the Mel Metal, the Mel Metal. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good news. All right, what do I lead? I'm leading Ninetales and I'm clicking Veil. I am clicking Veil. Eruption. And then I'm now going to click I'm gonna click, um, I think I can actually double their Shifu. You turn out here is my play. This guard jump comes in, let's go Clef. Okay, here's what we're doing. Here is what we're doing. Go Mel Metal now, please. Please go Mel Metal, please, I beg you. I beg you, go Mel Metal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tapu Fini? This is actually not bad. I'm going to Thunder Punch. Just to play it safe. We actually might be faster. It's leftovers. Can we Oko a Fini? Yo, let's go! Let's go. That's so good. That's actually fantastic. He doesn't maybe he doesn't know we have Drain Punch. Or because Dragapult. Um Phantom Force. Please don't go through my thing. I would appreciate it very much. <gasps> Let's go. Beautiful. Go Mel Metal, please. Just go Mel Metal. <laughs> Why can't you go Mel Metal? Okay, but we all code Finny, which is amazing. Um, I can give him this thing now at this point. Yeah, you can have it. Good stuff. We all code uh, Dragapult and Finny. Not the Mel Metal, but I think I have the replay for that. I'll show you guys. Um, new set of Veil. Let's go. Roar Veil up. And so he heavy slams again. Okay, now we go into... Into what? Um, our Shifu is a good late game. Chansey, right? We just go Chansey here. And just side me toss. Could do the trick. Garchomp's in. Take a ton of damage, unfortunately. But I'm just going to uh, Toxic this. Soft boil here. We could probably go um cart. Nice cartana here. He might just go Mel Metal. Yep, just as I expected. Let's uh Swords Dance up. Oh, break break. That's pretty cool. That is nice. 
Goes Garchomp. Okay, cool. Got the little speed boost. So he has Brick Break on that. But I think, if I'm not mistaken... So, I mean, he has Air Balloon on this Heatran. He has Air Balloon on it. I think I saved Kartana. I, it could come in handy. And I just go Chansey. Even though he wants to Volt Switch, that's fine. I'm gonna counter. Nah, I, he, he crit that. I think, did that matter? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. And aggressively starts the timer. Just what you love to see. Ice punch for the chip. And then... Let me ice punch again. All I need is chip. That's all I need. Pop the balloon. That's all I needed. Yep. <laughs> that is all. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we just go Kartana at this point in time. Nice little dodge of a Magma Storm is good. Nice. And then what we do here is we just need a little damage on the Meld Metal. I think I just go Urshifu. Uh, Surging Strikes here is the play. Yeah, this is all I need. Damage on this is all we need. She tries to Ice Punch the Landers, does not work. Looks like uh, it might be game, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, that's game. Earthquake here. Mm hmm. We just gotta hit a Stone Edge and win. Which I think we'll be faster, so it should be fine. Yeah, good damage. Hurricanes. <laughs> Hurricane crit. Don't miss, buddy. Come on, Landers. Come on. There you go. Good game. Solid. Very solid. And I think that's a great spot to end this video off. But before we end it off, there's one replay in particular that I'd love to show you all. And it's this one right here against this Ferrothorn Toxapex team. And so, as you can see, right, there's definitely, um, definitely a lot of defensive uh, pressure on this team with uh, Toxapex and Ferrothorn and stuff and Regenerator, but also a good amount of offense. Can Clefable put in the work? Let's find out. This replay also is great for some thumbnail text, which I'll be more, more than happy to be tweeting out, uh, not thumbnail text in particular, but a certain screenshot as you'll soon see. Lead Volcarona as we get up Veil. If this has Safeguard, it will be a problem, somewhat for Chansey, which it does have so we can't Toxic it, but it's not going to be a problem for Urshifu, because Urshifu can deal with this Safeguard set. It only has a Fire move, last move is going to be Roost, right? However, I decided to play a little bit recklessly and just go after the Surging Strikes immediately and doing a lot of damage to myself, which is most unfortunate, filling the entire battle window with text. <laughs> I didn't like to see that. I skipped that turn in the battle when I was playing it. Now I go back to Clefable. So I mean, it's still alive, right? Still alive. So that's always nice. I go to Clefable here, and now this turn here is a highlight. Belly Drum on the Toxapex switch in. Thunder Punch, Oko from 100%, gone. And so he says, oh, okay, that's when the thumbnail text comes out. I'm like, LOL. He turns out here into uh, Ferrothorn. I should have probably Drain Punched again, which would have been a great play, but I just decided to play rough because it's uh, it's a safe move. He's like, can't say I expected that. And um, going to get some more health back here, a little chip on this thing. Not much chip though, but he actually is able to knock us out from this range because Clefable with max attack, max speed is very... I would say uh, frail, as you all know. Now, Ninetales can come back in and reset the veil, right? He's like, does that Oko max defense pecs? I was spit F. It always does. So the answer is yes. Max defense, max HP, Toxic Pecs always gets oko due to lifeguard. Life, uh, not lifeguard. <laughs> life orb. Um, life orb. I mean, they're going to need a lifeguard after that, though. He says, oh, okay. So, yeah, this is me testing out the team, but... We just Oko a Tornadus on this turn, by the way, just so you guys see. And um, 
Ferrothorn comes back in. I just sub right here as he decides to leech fails. And so that's really good for us. And um, he's like, I can't imagine it's good, but it's funny. I'll give you that. Got some thunder attacks, which is nice. We get the Swords Dance up here, and he goes Landorus, which is fine. We just get as much damage on this as we can. He dodges, and this turn is um, annoying, right? Because, let's see here, actually. We would have gotten a decent chunk of damage on it, so that maybe Kartana could have cleaned up a little easier. But, yeah, so then I switch out here, because I don't want to take a Triple Axel, but the Triple Axel misses. So... First of all, kind of makes up for it, but I also kind of wish I stayed in. <laughs> I kind of, he's like, glad you didn't stay in. That's good. So he didn't lose his Weavile. So all is good. So now I make a double the Chansey here. But look at this turn, right? I feel like, so he Quiver Dances here. He asks, is this a meme set too? And then he goes for Quiver Dance. And then he says, uh, I misclicked. Actually, let's, let's evaluate this real quick. Let's evaluate this. He asks, is this a meme set too? He asks the, the Chansey that. Goes for Quiver Dance as a Toxic. Then he says, I misclicked, I meant to safeguard. I don't think it was a misclick. I don't think so. Because I didn't show Toxic at all. And he probably didn't want to waste a turn of me going Landorus and clicking safeguard. So I call bluff. I call I call bluff on this. <laughs> I, I said true in the moment, but I, call, I, I looked at the replay. He asked if it's a meme set, so he didn't know what it was. And he clicks Quiver Dance, maybe expecting a switch out, expecting Safeguard. I call Bluff, that was not a misclick. <laughs> safeguard, Bulk just sweeps if I'm not dumb. No, it doesn't. It has, uh, I have a Urshifu. Or I had an Urshifu, but like, I still have it. It's a little weaker now, but I still have it. I also have Landers behind screens. I, I was able to kind of maintain my stuff towards the end. After I Toxic, I can play recklessly with those Mons now. But anyways, I can just Stone Edge, Stone Edge, let him knock off. Bring this thing in here, go for the close combat, which is a 2 hit KO, and um, there's a burn here, yep, so gets the flame body burn, that's okay, but we were able to 2 hit KO it, which is nice. He goes Weavile here, which um, he does not expect me to be Scarf, and I am Scarfed, so as you can see with the outcome here, last Pokemon is going to be Ferrothor. We can win the game with um, easily with, uh, with Kartana in the end. Should have shared? Or is he talking about a safeguard? Thought it was band damage. Something like that. But a good game nonetheless. I like this game a lot because it really kind of showcased Belly Drum Clefable's early threatening, um, threateningness, threatening nature by Okoing a Tox Effects, which is amazing. But uh, that's going to be it from me for this video. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the Belly Drum Clefable showcase. I do believe, I think it was recommended me to use this set or something, like in a, in a comment I, I read somewhere. Um, but it was also in the back of my mind. I, I wanted to use this set because I could kind of see that this Pokemon really pressures a lot of stuff. I didn't really get to showcase Mel Metal getting O code. However, it does. Just take my word for it. Plus six Life Orb Drain Punch will knock out uh, Adam and Nature knocks out Mel Metal, which is also amazing. Really impressive to see. Had that in uh, I think a few test games, but forgot to save the replay. Like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments. A specific Pokemon set. A specific Pokemon set that is designed to beat one of its main counters. I'd like to know. And Clefable, actually, this one, like, it covers a lot. Melmetal, Heatran, Slow, uh, Slow King, Glarian, Toxapex, wow, so many. And even a special set with coverage can't do all of that because AV, Glarian, Slow King will wall those special sets. But this one actually breaks through all of them, <laughs> which is quite nice. But yeah, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.